all can look to jesus now and receive something precious because he is precious than silver and gold that is jesus in that name lame will walk acts chapter 3 6 in that name when the disciples doing the ministry the same thing will happen what jesus did the same thing will happen through the ministry of the disciples of jesus today we have the promise word romans chapter 12 verse 21 evil will not conquer you but you will conquer the evil with good praise the lord praise the lord is it a good promise or a bad promise a good promise father some people think something evil is going to happen because some black magician said i will teach you a lesson within 30 days fear entered into you or doctor said this is a deadly disease fear entered into you or surgery is needed fear entered into you or seeing your symptoms you have a fear bible says you will overcome everything evil around you and within you amen and evil will not conquer you but you will conquer the evil that is romans 1221 let us say together do not be overcome by evil do not be <coughs> overcome by evil but overcome evil but overcome evil <coughs> with the good with good thank you jesus thank you jesus psalm 91 was 10 says even if the evil will not enter into your tent if any evil enters into your tent you have power to bind them cast them out what we read in psalm 91 verse 10 all of you read it together this is a continuation of the promise word today no evil shall befall you no scourge come near your tent what does it mean the tent means our house even our body also can be counted like a tent of god there are plenty of evil in this world ready to enter into you are ready to enter into me ready to enter into the house of god but the remember today's promise word the world is full of evil and full of good things both the mixture good things and bad things wheat and weeds are living together in this world till the end of the world matthew chapter 13 verse 28 wheat and weeds are growing together good and bad is there an enemy has done it what is that enemy's work they put wrong seeds in you god put only good seeds when god completed his work the devil started sowing his seed that is weeds among the wheat verse 29 says they asked where are these weeds are coming up the evil in this world who created it and how this evil come to us jesus replied no you do not collect this weeds now you will not now gathering the weeds you would uproot even in the wheat along with them then who has done it this simultaneous growth of good and evil in this world that's why romans 12 21 says this evil which is put by the devil will not overcome you but you will overcome it but it enters into your body or into your house into your tent you have the power to bind and cast them out and send them to the feet of jesus that is page number 103 in this book so we do not fear any evil evil is there plenty of evil we do not have the fear because we will overcome it that is a promise this evil in this world sickness in this world will not overcome you catholic church says the mother church says sickness is also considered as evil catechism book number 1000 
every evil in this world including sickness not from god it is a result of the original sin sin of adam and eve that is happened it is being transmitted from generation to generation by birth so we have to be born again in the tribe of jesus from the tribe of jesus uh, first adam we have to be born again in the tribe of jesus john chapter 1 12 those who believe in jesus irrespective of their caste creed religion they will be born again in the tribe of jesus in this new life in this new life many evil ready to enter like a sickness or weakness or poverty or similar to it but the promise word today's promise word lift up your hands and this whole world is also under the grip of the satan first john 5 19 little children we know this whole world is under the grip of satan so full of evil it is under the grip of the evil and always we pray deliver us from evil jesus taught us a prayer matthew chapter 10 uh, chapter 6 verse 13 matthew chapter 6 verse 13 deliver us from the evil one lead us not to temptation not give us into the hands of the devil but deliver us from the evil one evil one is only singular that is lucifer do not bring us to the time of trial but rescue us from the evil one so there is evil in this world the promise word romans 12 21 this evil evil one evil sickness will not destroy you but you will overcome it that means it will come to you it will come to me but i have confidence and you also have confidence we all will overcome it thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus keep your hands down yesterday i heard the testimony of a man who is 84 year old he got a prostate enlargement urine block psa is very high his two sons are doctors they said in this age surgery and chemo is not advisable then he said i have faith in jesus so he is online and praying the following day the same doctors his own children said papa now that disappeared his urine flow is normal ps account became normal and his symptoms of sickness disappeared what is happened in between the promise word fulfilled in his life he will not overcome by prostate cancer but he will overcome the prostate cancer amen 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus so have confidence and trust in jesus and believe in him this cancer in your body that will not overcome you but sometimes the feeling or thinking of this sickness thinking of wrong things we have a fear hallucinated fear this will come and devour me this will come and devour me that's our own thinking that's not the message from god message from god my child you will overcome it you will overcome it and uh, look into your family problems look into your business and finance problems look around problems there is no days or space in our life where there is no problem look around full of problems but the lord says fear not you will overcome it amen amen isaiah 41 verse 15 you are worm like fragile fragile person like a worm worm like jacob i will make you like a bulldozer even though you have the most sophisticated and the best car you cannot climb a mountain you cannot drive through a mountain but if you have a bulldozer 
he can slowly destroy the mountain with the bulldozer that's called the fresh sludge in our modern terms we can say it is bulldozer so you can level the ground the, that mountain to ground level it so that is the promise the mountain will not be a hindrance in your life seeing a mountain your joy increased i will conquer you mountain amen amen because who you are threshing sludge sharp new having new teeth you shall trust the thrust the mountains and crush them and you shall make the hills like chaff the rocks and hills chaff then lucifer may be the biggest evil in this world biggest evil in this world what is the name of that biggest evil lucifer lucifer what will happen to lucifer when you and lucifer have a fight what will happen roman 1620 says lucifer will become powder then who will you will become you will become bulldozer amen. amen what a promise it is rejoice in it and this will happen god will not tell lies god never cheats anyone god never tell lies only truth what is the truth says you will overcome it what happened to lucifer just read together god of peace will shortly crush satan or evil or lucifer under your feet the grace of our lord jesus christ be with us Us. and with you and with you just look left and right and say grace of jesus is with you grace of jesus is with you and you will thrust the mountains and you will thrust the mountain you will crush down the head of the devil you will crush down the head of the devil. this head will become dust under my feet this head will become a dust under my feet amen, amen. do you believe that will it happen yes father surely it will happen because Jesus cannot tell lies. Jesus cannot tell lies. Now put your hand on your chest and say I will overcome. I will overcome all sickness in me. All sickness. I will overcome. I will overcome all bondages in me. All bondages in me. I will overcome. I will overcome all sickness within me. All sickness within me. This sickness will not overcome me. This sickness will not overcome me. I will overcome. I will overcome all sorrows in my life. All sorrows in my life. Because Romans 12. Because Romans 12. Verse 21 says. Verse 21 says. No evil will overtake me. No evil will overtake me. But I will overtake the evil but i will overtake the evil hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus